Hello viewers, this is Ajol Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I am very excited to show you how I am making $15 an hour by doing very simple data entry job. And in this video, I am going to cover what is the actual job is and how I am working on it and how much I have earned so far from the job and what you need to start working on these types of job and where to find these types of job uh, jobs and I will talk about freelancer.com, fiber.com and upwork.com a bit and I'll also talk about how to get registered with Upwork and how to find these types of jobs in Upwork. So let's dive into the original video. So here I'm going to my Chrome browser. Here's the message as you can see I have got this message from one of my clients and this is the project I'm going to talk about. So as you can see, he sent me a message. Let's do the Hunter Bar project again in another city. So I have done this similar project in uh, previously and he loved the results and he is uh, instructing me to do the same for another city. And here is the spreadsheet where we have to enter the information. So basically the project is about here is the uh, instruction. Find an email, put info into a sheet. Here is the sheet and put domain name into Hunter to pull email. So the, basically the project is about collecting business information from Yelp business directory and entering them into a Google spreadsheet. And the other part, which is about uh, finding the email address by using hunter.io, which is uh, which is also available free, although I'm going to use my client's account, okay? So now I'm opening this link to show you what actually the work is. As I have here, I have uh, promised what is the actual job and how I am working. I'm going to show you this part now. Okay. So I'm going to click on op uh, this link and this spreadsheet. Okay. So here is the Yelp website, the business directory, and client has entered bar in the find uh, keyword section, and then he entered his targeted location, which is San Diego, California. And he also added few filters, as you can see here, to find targeted businesses, okay? So I'm going to show you the filters, how he used and how you can actually use. Okay, so here the filter is by short by in best match and in new neighborhoods, there is no uh, specific location selected. So they're covering all neighbor neighborhoods, okay? And in distance, nothing covered. Okay, in price range, it, this, this one also unchecked. And here on features, we're seeing one, one option selected, which is full bar. Let's see if there are more. So nothing selected here. Let's see. Here's the full bar selected. And let's see, meal serve, nothing. Music, nothing. Parking, nothing. These are the filters, search filters to get specific information. Let's click on cancel. Okay. And here on category section, I'm seeing some selections. Let's open this one. And here we go, more categories, bars, sports bars, cocktail bars, dive bars, wine bars, gay bars, whiskey bars, beer, wine, and spirits, sticky bars. These are the categories that's uh, been selected by client and he's looking for, uh, and, and here Yelp provided us 887 businesses. From where I actually have to collect information which has all the information fields listed here, for example, bar name, Yelp profile, website address, email address, and if there is multiple, if there are multiple email addresses, then I have to collect the second email. And if there is no second email, then it's fine to keep it blank. And I have to collect the phone number and address field. So most important part is here the email address and the first and the address. Okay. And if we can find phone number, that's the plus. If we can't find, that's okay to keep the field blank. Okay. So I have already collected information for almost, sorry, I have already reviewed almost 30 businesses from three of the result pages, And I, I was able to find uh, full information for 53 businesses. And now I'm going to the fourth page to show you the actual work. I will collect information for two businesses which has all the four, uh, oh, sorry, all the information fields. Okay, so now let's start it. I'm going to 
open the 91th business in a new tab and here is the website so first of all let's collect the business name and I just copied and paste it here on uh, under the bar name then I have to collect the Yelp business profile URL here it is so I'm going to copy this link paste it here and then I have to collect the website which is here I have to open this in a new tab uh, I just clicked on this link and it's redirecting me to a new tab and it's trying to copy this part and click on paste okay and it's time to find the email address I can go for the emails manually let's see if I can find any email address manually but I will also show you this way hunter okay so first of all let's see if we can find an email address manually for this business uh, usually they, uh, the email address are listed in contact us page or about us page so let's open contact us and about us page and here we go we have got two email address uh, but actually this one is for this business so I'm going to copy this business email and paste it here okay any email address from the website or from hunter so I'm going to show you the process on hunter for the next uh, next uh, business okay so I have collected email address and website Yelp address and bar name and now time to find uh, collect the phone number and the business address okay so I'm going to copy this phone number from here paste it here okay and it's trying to copy paste the address from here this part the bold part copy and paste it here and let's make them in a line come on okay so it's look good and I have successfully completed collection of the first uh first business details but but i'd love to show you uh, i'd love to see if there are more emails available in uh, hunter.io so i'm going to hunter sorry hunter.io so i am using my client's paid account but you will be able to use this website for free as a free version also available okay so i'm going to copy the domain name and paste it here to see if there is an email address appeared and here we go we have got two email address we have already collected this phone reservations as you can see here and we have got additional email address here okay so i have just copied this email address and pasted here okay so now this listing is completed and let's move for the next business let's pick it here okay next business is whatever let's open it in a new tab and here is the business name let's copy the business uh, Yelp page and click on this link to below uh, to get loaded when I am working on this field okay so I just press it by entering control plus V okay and now copying the website from here copy paste and it's time to find the email address so now i have just showed you the manual process uh, on the previous entry so i'm going to try uh, the hunter.io for this business in first report and here we go i have got two email addresses and i'm going to copy these emails paste just copy it from here by clicking copy as you can see copy 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 okay so I'm going to collect the email address here and click on paste and it's time to collect collect the phone number and uh, business address so go here and copy paste remove the space and okay and then collect the address the bold part copy paste and remove the uh, make them in one line Oops. okay so here we go we have just entered information for two businesses and 
actually i could track times for this business uh, for this uh, work here by clicking on of this time tracker but i just uh, didn't uh, track the time because i'm making a video now okay so here i have done to increase and now let's move so it, this this was the actual job and I just showed you how I am working. Okay, so now let's move to the next part. How much I have earned so far by doing this very simple job uh, by working how many hours? So let's go to so let's go to Upwork. Go into Upwork.com. Let's cross them out. And here I am in my Upwork profile. Let's go to my jobs, uh, my jobs option from here. And here is the contract. Okay. So as you can see here, so here total I worked 50 hours and 40 minutes. And I have total earned seven hundred and sixty dollars from this project by doing very simple copy pasting job. Okay, so now let's move to the next question. What do you need to start working on these types of job? Okay, so basically, as I have showed you, what is the job? Is this is all about copy pasting? So if you have a computer with a stable internet connection, and if you know how to copy and paste from one source to another source and if you know how to use Microsoft Excel or Google uh, or Google spreadsheet and if you have a very basic English skill uh, that's that's all you need okay so now let's move to the fourth question which, uh, which is about where to find these types of jobs so I am I have got this job on Upwork but there are many other platforms among them freelancer.com fiber.com i have made a video about fiber.com previously let me show you the video where i explained more details about getting started with fiber and how you can actually earn money go to your youtube uh, page and click uh, enter ajharul rafi on your search bar okay and Go to Ajhar Rafi, click on Ajhar Rafi, okay, and go to videos. Hi there. Hi there. And you will find the video here. Fiber tutorial earn money easily data entry typing, okay. So this is the this is the uh, video where you uh, from where you'll be able to learn how you can uh, how you can earn money very easily by data entry typing by converting PDF to Word or Excel files okay and this is the second video which is about which was about how you can get registered with Fiverr uh, properly and this is the third video which was uh, which is very important as well which is about creating uh, creating a new gig or actually adver advertising your services to Fiverr and how to get get sales by getting your gig rankings okay so these three videos are very important if you want to learn about Fiverr and I have more videos about Upwork on my channel. I'm going to show you some of them. Let's see. Here I am working on this project which was from Upwork and let's see. Uh, here here this, this video is about Fiverr. This one is about work from home data entry jobs online. This one is from Upwork and these two jobs are also about Upwork jobs. Okay, this one also a Upwork project. Okay, and that's that's all for now and I have got some other videos here about here. How do we do earnings from your Upwork to your Pioneer account? So You'll be able to learn Pioneer. You can also add PayPal, PayPal, and your direct bank account also. So from this video, you'll be able to learn how I actually withdraw money from Upwork to my local bank or my Pioneer account. Okay. 
So these are the videos about Upwork on my channel. So now let's move to the video. Let's visit this freelancer.com first to give you a little exposure of the website. So here click on frwlancer.com and hit enter. And here is the website where you will be able to find jobs. As you can see, if you click here how it works, you'll be able to learn more about this website. And if you click on browse jobs, then you'll be able to find jobs. So you can see here virtual assistant uh, lead generation website admin encoding. Let's see if I can find search keyword data entry. Data entry search. And here we go. Need someone to do data entry copy paste project to Excel. Okay, first job, second job, third job. So there will be 100 or actually 230 jobs right now which are active on this platform or on this website. You just need to get registered or sign up with freelancer and set up your profile and then you have to add your additional uh, required information and then you have to bid on them and to get started. Okay, so that's where you will be able to find that entry jobs, one resource. So let's move to the ne next website which I have listed here, which is fiber.com, F-I-B-E-R-R.com. So I'm going to enter fiber here. I Sometimes I work on this website, so I've got some uh, knowledge about this website. So here on this fiber website, let me sign up to show you from outside. Okay. So you must log in to access this web page, no problem. Let's click on fiber. So here is fiber.com and once again similar, similar to freelancer, you will be uh oh actually there we have got some difference on this website. Where when on freelancer and upwork you have to apply or you have to bid on a job but on fiber you just have to uh, you just have to showcase your service as i have showed on this video okay you just have to showcase your service and buyers will come to you buyers will give you order and then you have to uh, provide them or you have to complete work for them okay so once again you have to join click on join and then you have to sign into your profile then uh, add your gigs or services to get started or to get clients from Fiverr. Okay, very easy to use uh, website and I love this website very much because I sometimes, although I'm not a f uh, frequent user of this website, but sometimes I got orders when I'm not even thinking of getting working and I'm being able to make extra money. Okay, so I love this website and I'm going to show you actually one funny thing here although i'm not too much active here uh, on this website but still i have got 270 dollars in my balance okay so that's the great thing about fiverr i love fiverr this is the reason okay so i just showcased my uh, services and gigs and i'm getting orders providing services and earning money or revenue okay so let's move on to upwork upwork.com and I'm going to sign out first sign out and let's type again upwork.com okay so here is the upwork website and the best website so far I have found okay to work as a freelancer and First of all, you have to sign up to join or get registered uh, to Upwork as a freelancer. So, so click on sign up and very basic account creation form. Okay, you will have the uh, features or options after taking here, after inputting your first name, last name, work email address, and then you will you will you will, you will need to log in. So as I already have an account, as, as I have showed you, and I am working on actually. So I'm going to click on login to my Upwork profile. And now I'm going to show you how you can find 
uh, data entry jobs from Upwork. So here as my profile is all about data entry, web research, lead generation services. So I'm getting some recommendations. So as you can see here, Excel Google Sheet. I, uh, I search a person for Excel for do something, please. Thanks you. So this person is from France. His English is not so good, but he has a good rating. As you can see, five stars based on three feedbacks and he already spent $3,000 on Upwork. Okay. So let's move to this one. Data entry person required for PDF to work conversion. So this person is looking for a typist who is uh, able to convert PDF files to Word, or Word files. He is from India. Uh, his, his payment method is unverified, but uh, but he could be a potential client. Okay. So he is looking for a person to convert PDF to Word. Okay. And here we go. Need data entry expert. I have some PDF and pictures. I need someone convert into Word and Excel. So very basic works. Okay. Very basic works. You just need to convert, uh, type out, or maybe you can convert a PDF to Word. Let me show you a video about PDF and pictures. I need someone to convert into Word and Excel. Let me show you relevant videos on my channel here. How to convert PDF to Excel spreadsheet online without software. Okay. So make money easily. So this is one of the videos you can see to learn the process. And this is another video, how to convert PDF to Word without software online or shared. Okay. So this is another relevant video. So you can convert PDF to Word uh, automatically by using these, uh, using uh, tools or websites uh, mentioned in these videos and or you can also type out the informations into a, an Excel file. Okay, so that's the simplicity here. Reformat Excel spreadsheet, very, example, very, very simple. I have a price list from a manufacturer and I need it to be formatted into the columns that I require. So as you can see here on these columns, I have an organized version of this spreadsheet. So client is requiring these types of spreadsheet uh, maybe uh, a little bit let me see if this information is here and it's not there let me put then client is uh, client is requesting you actually to uh, put this information in this this address field okay instead of phone number field so this is to reformat or reorganize the spreadsheet so that's all about this project okay and you can find this job on upwork as well so here, I need a person experience, experience in MS Office for weekly tasks. Okay, this one is uh, for long-term projects. If you are able to, if you have skills on Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Office uh, programs, maybe Excel, let's see, data entry management. So basically, is looking for Microsoft Excel experience. If you have basic skills on Excel and if you can be hired on this project, then there is a great opportunity to work with this client for three more than three months. Okay, it could lead you to one uh, one year, two year. Okay, so many people out there. Even I have some jobs where I'm working uh, for almost two years or maybe one and a half year. That's that's a great thing. Okay, so you'll be able to find these types of jobs also in Upwork. Okay, and you can also search jobs from here. Search for jobs. I'm going to put data entry. Sorry, data entry. Okay, and click on. Uh, data entry, virtual assistant, data, data entry, Microsoft Excel, data entry, Microsoft Internet Research. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to make the search by clicking here data entry, Microsoft Excel to specify that the jobs that have Excel requirement. Okay, so let's see how many jobs we can find. We have got 1896 jobs available to apply right now. Okay, so let's uh, let's type data entry PDF. Okay, and let's see if there is any typing job available. Okay, so here we go. Are you good with entering edits into PDF documents? So if you know how to edit a PDF file, that's, uh, this, this is the job for you. And I actually have this skill, but I haven't yet uploaded any video about PDF. Uh, editing so I'll be uh, I will upload videos about how to edit PDF documents. Okay, and here we go uh, Scrape data from PDF files and put into a spreadsheet. I have 15 58 PDF files with data and 
need the following data. Uh, let's just see. Uh, I have 58 PDF files with data and need the following data copied or straight or copied and put into col columns in a spreadsheet name, phone, email address, notes. I have attached a sample of the lead, lead sheet. So I'm going to show you the sample, okay? So let's let's see what actually the project is. I believe this video will be helpful or this uh, this will be helpful for you. Okay. So here, so client is looking for a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet with name, phone, email, address, and notes. Let me just copy these parts and let's show you how I will do this task if I was hired for this project. So I'm going to open it an Excel spreadsheet and putting them here. Name. Oh, actually, I should paste it here to see all the entries I need. Name, phone, email, address, and notes. These are the headings. And it's time to collect information from here. So here's the name, Alice Lambos. Okay, now the phone number. Uh, oh, actually, here's the name. I made a mistake here. Okay, here's the name, Elise Ruth. Oops. Okay, Elsa Ruth, and then I have to collect the phone number, copy, and paste, and then what are the information email address and notes so let's find the email address here's the email address copy email address paste and then we have address and notes so here's the address and what are the notes so So I think uh, I think I'm not actually sure what is the what is the note part. Uh, what I have to enter in the note part. So I'd love to ask the client. So for example, suppose this is the note part. So I'm going to copy this part and paste it paste it here. Okay. So verb text. There is a, this information in one field. Okay. So this is how I would, I would go for this project and I, would, I will save this file, this PC documents, uh, taste project. Okay, so this is the file I would, I will, I would, I would um, deliver to the client as a completed project. So that was the, uh, that was the project actually, uh, sorry, that was the work actually. So. Uh, basically, you have to open a uh, open a profile on Upwork, and then you have to you have to sign in, find relevant, find the jobs that you know about, and then you have to apply on jobs to get hired, and then you have to start working. Okay. Now let's move how to register and how to find these types of jobs. I already I already discussed about this part. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was helpful, please let me know by commenting below and if you have got any question, please don't hesitate to ask me by commenting below and uh, if you really found this video helpful, shareable, please do share this video with your friends on social media and please like this video to support me and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos don't forget to watch the relevant videos i have showed and i have to see you in the next video and very best wishes for you and I, and thank you very much